Welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. Today we are taking a question on a triangle. And if you can see, these are examples of scalene triangle. All the sides are different. And the first one have two of the sides given a, an angle provided. So to use, we know we don't have a height here. So half based on height cannot work. We have an angle. We can relabel the size to be A, B, C. We know that A will face this angle. And B is also facing what? This angle. And C is facing here. So the moment we have two of the sides inclined to provide the angle of the size that we're not giving, then the area is just half A, B, sine C. The C is... This side, which is having its angle as 30, the A and B are just the size provided. So this is going to be half A, which could be our 8 centimeter, B, 7 centimeter, and sine C, which is now 30 degrees. So fast forward, we know half of this will give us 4. 4 times this will give us 28 centimeter squared times whatever this angle will give us we can use calculator for that we can also use our palm whereby the palm is having an empty square root over 2 then the fingers starting from here is 0, 30, 45, 60, 90 so if I stand on this, this is 0, so 30 if I stand on angle 30 I am going to count the finger below the angle and I have only one finger so it means the empty uh, square root to take what one so square root of one is one over two meaning that sine 30 is just half and half of 28 I believe is what 14 centimeter square so if you ask to find the area of a triangle that have no height but have an angle and two of the sides are inclined make sure the two sides are inclined to provide the angle given to you then we can use this formula all right this is also a scaling but in this case all the sides are given but no angle so it means following this method it can work we can also use half base and height because if i draw this line i cannot say that the length here will be the same as this so i can have a height no so we can also use a Heron's formula in finding the area that is going to be area equals to the square root of s s minus a s minus b s minus c where a b c are just the size so we can have a b c as 22, 120, and 122. What about the S? The S is just semi perimeter, meaning if I add the side A, B, C divided by 2, it gives you my S. So here I'll be having 22 plus 120 plus 122, all this divided by what? 2. So we can say that. 120, 122, 2, 4, 2. Then we add our 22 to be 4, 6, 2. So it means we are going to have 2, 6, 4 divided by 2. And that will give us 1, 3, 2. So it means that this S is going to be 132. So everywhere I see S, I substitute 132. When I see A, 22, B, 120, C, and a half word, um, 122. So let's substitute. So your area is still going to be the root of S, 132, S, 132 minus A, 22, 132 minus 120, 132 minus what? 122. So this is what you are going to have. 
the square root will continue to have 132 and in this bracket we subtract this from here we get 0 this from here we are going to get 1 so 1 1 0 1 1 0 here then in this place if we subtract this we get 1 if we subtract this we get 0 so we are only going to have let's say 132 120 so 2 1 here is 0 so we have 12 so this is going to be 12 times this is also going to be 132 122 0 1 0 so that also gives us what 10 so from this we have this we have this we have this so 10 12 we can see that this is also 10 and 11 this is also going to be uh, 11 times what 12 so i can rewrite this as here is 11 times 12 here is going to be 11 times 10 times 12 times what 10 so 10 10 11 11 12 12 so this is going to be it will be 11 square times 12 square times what 10 square so i'll be having uh, 11 times 12 times 10 or square because they are square so i'll find the answer of this which this will give us still 1 3 2 if you multiply this then 1 3 2 times 10 will give us this so i'll be having let me continue from here the square root of 1 3 2 0 all squared and we know that this square will cancel the square root so the answer is nothing but 132.0 meter squared so if you are giving the triangle and all the sides are given to you and it is a scalene triangle this is the formula we use we use Heron's formula we use Heron's formula to find the area of a scalene triangle all right so if you like this video and you want more of these videos please subscribe to my youtube channel tazunomi online mathematics same on facebook and tiktok se tazo so that you'll be able to have access to all my videos share with friends that you think need it so that i'll see you in the next episode thank you very much and god bless you